That, my friends, is probably the biggest waterfall I think I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video where today we have just rented a car in flipping Iceland baby! And unfortunately, it's not a Defender, it's a little flipping Volkswagen Polo! Okay, so it's currently 9am and we have the hire car till about 4pm and the route that we've decided to take is about 7 hours we've worked out. So we are... We are cutting it quite fine for our adventures in the car today. Well, a successful 34 minute drive and we have just made it to a national park. I'm so bad with pronouncing names. We've made yeah. it to this place right now. We're just about to go and check out the amazing lake with about a thousand other people. <laughs> just put my coat on. So how was that first drive for you, Holly? It wasn't too stressful actually, you did very well, <laughs> considering we're on the wrong side of the road from what we used to. So this drive we're trying to do, like Holly just said, is about a seven hour drive and we have seven hours to do it. So coming to spots like this, we literally have about three seconds to take pictures, to grab a little bit of video, get back in the car and drive on. Otherwise, we're gonna miss the boat. But we'll we be stuck in Iceland we forever. Stay in Iceland forever. That's not a bad thing. It's pretty cold there, I don't think I've got enough warm <laughs> <laughs> Next up. Oh, so cold. Right, next stop. We have now just arrived at the geyser, I think is how it's pronounced, I have no idea. Basically, the ground is steaming, there's like water jets coming out of the ground, it's pretty damn crazy here. really do feel like we're on some like prehistoric island with these like volcanic like eruptions and stuff going off around us it's kind of crazy here so one of the main things i wanted to see when we got to iceland was a waterfall that my friends is probably the biggest waterfall i think i've ever seen in my entire life quite taken back by how big and fierce and loud this place is and how close you can get to the edge of this waterfall. This place is crazy and I'm so glad the GH5 is weather sealed because it is so wet and misty and rainy right now. It's probably why you can't even see me. The lens is completely covered in water right now. And 
get into this waterfall has taken us three and a half hours, which is pretty much exactly half of our seven hour adventure, which basically means that we've got to turn around and start heading back. <laughs> And this is really what I expected from our Iceland adventure. This is it. <laughs> oh, I love this. So next top, next top. Okay, so we've had a slight detour. We were meant to be heading back now, but I noticed if we were took a different road, we get to another sightseeing adventure, which is a crater, a volcanic crater. And that's all I know. <laughs> Probably got about five, if not 10 minutes to look at this crater, but this is the only place where you actually have to pay to go and see it. All those other places we've seen like was all free. Well, they're like donation basically, but this is 400 Icelandic Coronas. That's a lot of beer. <laughs> So there's a choice where you can either go down to the lake or around to the crater. We don't have time for the lake. No time for the lake? No time for the lake. <laughs> 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 wish that we could spend more time at these places but we're trying to cram as much in as we possibly can with our short time scale that we've got. I would love to spend more time to film better content, take better pictures but this is one thing which I'm gonna say now. Holly? Yeah? We have to come back oh. to Iceland. Oh yeah we definitely, I thought you were gonna say we had to go but, but we, we definitely do have to come back. But we, we have to come back and spend a lot longer here. We've already made plans. <laughs> <laughs> we've already made plans. was a seven hour mission around Iceland in this little beast but it's time to say goodbye to the car and then head in to the cruise ship. Goodbye car, you have been amazing. Holly say goodbye to the car. Bye car. And I still can't quite believe that we're about to get on the Rotterdam cruise ship for a cruise for like the next nine days I think we're on this and our next stop is another new country we've never been to before which is Greenland but I don't think we actually get there for like one or two days. I'm not really sure, but anyway, we better go because this literally leaves in about 30 minutes time. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain, Peter Bond, speaking from the bridge of the MS Rotterdam. Welcome back on board and I hope you have enjoyed your stay in the port of Reykjavik. In order to reach our next port of call, uh, Kakatok, uh, we have to sail a total distance of 940 miles at an average speed of 16 knots. quick trip to Iceland is now over. We are now sailing on the Rotterdam towards Greenland and we get there in two days. Oh, this adventure has only just begun. How flipping epic so is exciting. it? So exciting. Dude, it's been amazing. It's been incredible. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a big fat thumbs up. If you are new, you can always hit that subscribe button and follow us on our awesome travel adventure. And until next time, we have no idea what we're going to be doing. We're going to be on a boat. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>